Kenny's white, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Real YouTube is comprised of only hair. If my hair isn't cut soon, I will become Dangala or Dangroth. Did I spell it wrong? One of these days I'm going to spell it wrong. That was almost it. I almost spelled it wrong. I forgot. I almost forgot an E. Um. Anyway, what's going on? It's your boy. Um. The guy. So, there I was, thinking about which video I was going to post today. Spent hours and hours. I spent the last 14 hours contemplating which video goes up today. Uh, and I decided I was going to talk about the Gigantamax Formies that were added in the Isle of Armor. Now, a couple of things... Oh, that's way too loud. I'm sorry for the music. Um, a couple of things. Many people ask why I say for me and not for m. The reason is that Pokemon is spelled... Uh, the for me has an E at the end. F-O-R-M-E. Now, this is spelled wrong. It should be F-O-R-M-E-S. But that's why. So don't yell at me because of it, okay? I'm just prop I'm just pr proper pronunciation guy. Um, anyway, so... Isle of Armor added six. New Gigantamax form, seven. Uh, there's one you saw, Blastoise. Uh, these are all old, blah, blah, blah. The Gigantamax versions of your starters, these three, that's... These three, that's five. Um, and then at the very end, they have two Urshifu as well. So, in total, seven new Pokemon that can Gigantamax... Their, their effects are all relative, like, a lot of them have the same effects, like, the Wendysaur and Blasters have the same effects, um, uh, Urshavus have the same effect, and then the Starters all have the same effect. However, I think it's still worth talking about, so, um, even though the effect is the same, the, depending on the Pokemon you're using, it's, like, the viability is different, for sure. The first one is Wendysaur, so if we talk about G-Max Wendysaur, it is G-Max Vinelash. Uh, a Grass-type attack that Gigantamax uh, Wendysaur uses, the move continues to deal damage to opponents for four turns, so... This is the grass type equivalent of the uh, GMX Wildfire. I think it's very good. I don't know how popular Wendysaur is going to be. Wendysaur actually looks like me right now. It needs a haircut as well. Um, I don't know how popular it's going to be like in the long run, but the effect is very, very good. And um, although Sun obviously takes a hit with the addition of Politoed, um, Politoed, Wendysaur is a great Pokemon. I mean, it was really dominant in uh, the last part of EGC 2020. Pretty much since it's been introduced, it's been very, very good. Great coverage moves. Um, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, obviously, you're going to be your go-to, but you don't have to run Leaf Storm. You could run Energy Ball. Some people run Frenzy Plant as well. Um, the additional power is really nice. The main advantage of Wendysaur is, obviously, it has Chlorophyll. Um, when Sunny, the Pokemon Speed doubles. It's very fast in, in the sun. You can run Focus Ash. You can run Life Orb. Some people are running Wide Lens. Some people run Absorb Bulb. It's got a bunch of different items it can use. Uh, it's also a very fast Sleep Powder user, which is just extremely, really, really powerful. Um, but the nice thing about Gigantamax Wendysaur is... It gives you a bit more offense. Um, <coughs> sorry, I turned the lights on and they're really bright. Um, but yeah, it gives you like a lot of like extra offense if you choose to Gigantamax it. And people would Dynamax when you serve before. Uh, it's a good it's a good Dynamax Pokemon because like Poison obviously raises your special attack. Um, but now you actually have this really nice secondary effect of just adding a ton of passive damage. And like you should not underestimate the passive damage of this of this effect. Um, you also like the the difference in damage that you're actually doing is pretty significant because you remove the grassy terrain that you would set otherwise which of course you know on the one hand grassy terrain powers up your grass type moves 1.3 times but i think this effect is much stronger um and so not only you're removing the healing but you're also dealing passive damage so overall i think it's a great gigantamax option um i don't know how popular one year two will be with like the new metagame and stuff but i think yeah i mean it's, it's still like the effect is really good now blastos is the same effect as when you soar um however it's a much worse Pokemon, in my opinion, um, which is unfortunate. G Max Cannonade, like Gatorade. Um, same thing as Venusaur, but the thing is that, like, Blastoise has a lot less going for it. Like, of the three, I'd probably choose either Charizard or Wenyasaur first, and then whichever one, you know, you didn't take second, and then Blastoise third in terms of their viability right now. Blastoise has something's going for it. The design is sick. That's the first thing. Um, good bulk overall, however, like, I don't know, I just, like, even though the effect is really good on Blastoise, like, it's not the best Dynamax slash Gigantamax target, because it only has water. Like, unlike Wenyasaur and Charizard, who have good secondary types, with Wenyasaur raising its special attack of uh, itself and the partner, and Charizard raising the speeds, um, Blastoise has, it, like, it, it doesn't have a secondary type, so, like, the moves you run in it are, like, you know, Water Move, maybe Protect, maybe Shell Smash, maybe Ice Beam, maybe Dark Pulse, like, it's kind of just, in many ways, an inferior Rotom Wash. Uh, like, of course, you have this nice secondary effect, but... Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't expect Blastoise to get nearly any play, despite the effect being really good. Because if you're going to run Blastoise to get the effect, why not run Charizard or Wenyasaur, who are much, much stronger? So, like, I like Blastoise. I don't like, you know, being mean to it, but that's that's honestly how I feel. Now we have the uh, Galarian Starters. So, their effect is interesting. I believe that it just makes it 160 base power. 
Um, G Max drum solo, 170 or 180 base power. So that's really, really high. I don't know. I heard 160, so I don't know if um, that's true. So, um, yeah, this is a very, very, very powerful move. Um, basically, it just ignores abilities. So it will ignore Sap Sipper on Gudra, which I guess is kind of nice. It ignores um, Mimikyu's Disguise, which is pretty nice. Uh, but the real thing is the increase in base power. Now, this is something that I learned when I was um, testing Charizard Gigantamax for uh, for Dallas Regionals. Is that, like, you might think, oh, what's the difference between 130 and 140? What's the difference between 150 and 170? The difference is significant. Like, I, I, I want to stress that. The difference is very significant here um, in terms of how much damage you're actually doing. The difference between 140 and 150 and 150 and 160, 150 and 170 is, is really big. Um in my in my opinion and from my experience um this extra power is like it changes a lot of damage calcs at least to do with charizard and um yeah like i would not be surprised at all to see the same thing here now the first thing we need to talk about is this one is a 170 base power move that if you gigantamax your rillaboom is also boosted by grassy terrain meaning it gets an additional 1.3 times boost and then the 1.5 times boost for being the same for being a grass type pokemon with a grass type attack um, it's, it'll hit very, very hard. I think Rillaboom is traditionally a Pokemon that I'd expect to play, like, more of a defensive or supportive role on teams that it's used on. However, it doesn't have to be that way. Like, I lost to a weakness policy Rillaboom before on either stream or on ladder, I don't remember. Um, or, like, on a video, I don't remember. But, yeah, like, I mean, it has a very high base attack stat. You could very easily justify a Life Orb or an Assault Vest set here. Um, or, honestly, a lot of different items. Like, it gets Max Airstream, of course. Um, it's not very strong. I think it comes off of acrobatics. Yeah, acrobatics. I think is the strongest move it can use. So it's not very strong, but you can raise your speed. Um, and yeah, I mean, having a 170 base power move with terrain is very powerful. Like I would not be surprised at all to see offensive Rillaboom kind of pop up and get some serious play. So I think this is very good. I think it gives Rillaboom an extra tool that it wouldn't have otherwise that overall just boosts its viability. Cinderace, I think, also benefits a lot from it. Uh, Cinderace is also a physical attacker, meaning it can't use the 180 base power, what I assume is coming off of Blast Burn. Um, I'm, not, I'm not super familiar with these, but yeah, a 170 base power move that ignores abilities is, is very good. Um, I think Cinderace is a very good Pokemon, um, thanks to Libero. I, I would not have said the same beforehand, but thanks to the ability to change the type, um, it's very, very strong. It's really hard to pin down, and there's like a lot of different moves you can use. You can run Airstream, you can run Steel Spike, you can run Sucker Punch, uh, you can run G-Max Fireball, obviously, if you're running Gigantamax. I think, honestly, at this point, like, there was a time where I considered not running, um, fire coverage on Cinderace, but I think with Gigantamax, you kind of, you really should be using it. Like, this, this effect is just so good. On the one hand, you lose the sun, uh, typing, the sun, setting the sun. On the other hand, the additional power immediately, I think, is very, very, very powerful, like, very viable. Cinderace will often run Life Orb also to boost the power even further, so, yeah, I mean, it's very scary. It should do a, a ridiculous amount of damage. You pair this with, like, a Helping Hand by Lodic, like, you should one-shot a lot of things, I think. Like, that sounds really scary to me, personally. Um, yeah, yeah, just overall scary Pokemon. I think this will do very, very well in the format. Uh, I expect to see a lot of Cinderace. Like, it's good even without, um, even without the Gigantamax form. It was already a very good Pokemon that I expected to see play, and then you just buffed it. Now, you might be able to argue that maybe you want Max Flare over G-Max Fireball. I think most of the time you're going to want Fireball, but I haven't tested it myself, so I guess the jury's still out, but it's a very powerful Pokemon. And last but not least, we have Inteleon, who is the only special attacker of the three. Now, Inteleon benefits the least from its hidden ability. We've talked about this a couple times. Um... Same thing. The difference is that it can actually use this 180 base power move, assuming Terabi is correct. Um, and it ignores abilities as well. So you can run Hydro Cannon, Life Orb, and Teleon. You might be able to even one-shot Gastron. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. It's, it's a very, very powerful move. Um, maybe maybe that's too much. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess, yeah. The thing is that, like, Inteleon, I think, is getting kind of power crept. Um, the stats aren't amazing, and although it hits really hard, may I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe you can justify it. I don't know. Um... Maybe you can justify running it. Like, if you want to run it, it's definitely not, uh, uh, it's definitely not a nerf. Like, it's definitely stronger than regular D-Max Inteleon. Although, you lose the rain, which is kind of nice. But, yeah, I mean, the immediate power is pretty nice as well. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure which is stronger. Because two Max Geysers are stronger than two Max, uh, Hydro, G-Max Hydro Snipe, I guess. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I think, like, Inteleon probably doesn't have as big of a role in the current format. And it's kind of ironic, because of the three, Fire, Water, Grass, I would typically say Water is the best typing. However, 
in my opinion, the two water type uh, starters are probably the weakest of their trio at the moment. So I could be wrong. Like maybe Inteleon's super good, but that's my that's my analysis. That's my take on it. Moving on, we're, we're really flying today. I'm really just human. We have our two last ones, Urshifu and Urshifu. Um, the effects are the same. I've already talked about Urshifu kind of in depth. Um, G-Max One Blow and G-Max Rapid Flow. Dark type attack ignores max guard. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's um, 130 base power ignores max guard. Very, very, very strong. I think if you're running Urshifu... Um, you should always be running Gigantamax Urshifu. Like, I mean, maybe you can justify wanting to set the rain. Like, maybe. Hard, maybe. Um, however, yeah, like, most of the time you're going to... Being able to hit through max guard is a big deal. Now, if something is, is Gigantamax, obviously, um, or Dynamax, you know, like, it's going to have more bulk, but the, just the ability to do that damage through max guard, I think it, it could be very good. Now, um... I've talked a bit about Urshifu. I don't need to get super in-depth before. I've actually talked about Urshifu twice now. So I don't need to tell you what I think about it overall. You can go watch either of those uh, two videos if you want to know. But overall, I mean, I expect these to get some play. Um, I don't expect them to be super broken necessarily. Like, I think they're very scary to deal with. But I don't think they'll be broken. I actually have been kind of... So those of you who watched the other videos know that I was saying Dark-type Urshifu is by far inferior. I might actually... i kind of been rethinking it a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Like... Amoongus makes me just not want to run this one at all, the water type one, because Amoongus just totally invalidates it. I mean, you can run Zen Headbutt, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, Amoongus seems like a problem, and I expect a lot of Amoongus. But on the other hand, then you have Togekiss, which invalidates this one. I mean, it kind of invalidates both of them, if we're going to be honest, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Pokemon's not so one-dimensional, though, that like you can just say, like, oh, it loses to Amoongus, so it's bad, because you have a partner as well. So um, anyway, I think that's all I wanted to say about that re relatively quick video today. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the different Gigantamax formies and how good they are and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to um, clean your bathroom, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.